This is your daily devotional from the inspired word of God. For us now to be like Jesus, the beauty of nature reveals God's character. Psalm 21 verses 1 and 2. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. I once had the pleasure of beholding one of Colorado's most beautiful sunsets. The great master artist had hung out on the shifting canvas of the heavens for the benefit of all, both rich and poor, one of his finest paintings. It almost seemed that the gates of heaven were ajar that we might see the beauty there was within. Oh, thought I, as one after another passed without noticing the scene, if it had been painted by human hands, how many would have been ready to fall down and worship it? God is a lover of the beautiful. He loves beauty of character, and he would have us cultivate purity and simplicity, the quiet graces of the flowers. We are to seek for the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit, which is the sight of God of great price. Parents, what kind of education are you giving your children? Are you teaching them to cherish that which is pure and lovely? Or are you seeking to place their hands in that of the world? Are you spending time and means that they may learn the outward properties of life? and secure the superficial, the deceptive adornments of the world? From their earliest childhood, open before them the great book of nature, teach them the ministry of the flowers, show them that if Jesus had not come to earth and died, we should have had none of the beautiful things which we now enjoy. Call their attention to the fact that the color and even the arrangement of every delicate bud and flower is an expression of the love of God to human beings, and that affection and gratitude to their Heavenly Father should be awakened in their hearts for all these gifts. Jesus, the greatest teacher, the world ever knew drew the most valuable illustrations of truth from scenes in nature. Parents imitate this example and use the things that delight the senses to impress important truths upon the minds of your children. Take them out in the morning and let them hear the birds calling forth their songs of praise. Teach them that we too should return thanks to the bountiful giver of all for the blessings we daily receive. Teach them that it is not dress that makes the man or the woman, but that it is true goodness of the heart. Maranatha, Jesus is coming soon.